Moving on, let's take a look at multiple loop mullion profiles. Okay, previously, mullion profiles were limited to a single loop. Okay, uh, we can now create curtain wall mullions with profiles with multiple closed loops. And let's remember the open loops are not supported. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have a non-closed polyline, which is basically what these loops are, then it will not work. They all have to be closed just like we remember having to do all the extrusions in AutoCAD. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look and see how this works. As you can see here, we have a cropped mullion 3D view. Basically, the view has been cropped to a section. And what we have is this one here. This is a multi-loop um, um, mullion that we created. And this is a single loop mullion. As you can tell, by the look of this, you see that the actual multi-loop will give you the perforations of the mullions that we so like, especially in the details. And we can also see that the single loop mullion will give you a solid rather than a hollow, which is re really what these all should look like. That being the case, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can actually go ahead and make one of these. So let's take a look at the actual profile here in the reference level. And we can see that we've already created a nice profile. Now you'll notice that even though this might actually be much more detailed, in this case, we drew it to be of a low detail. There is not, there is detail, yes, there is, but not to the level to which a, an actual um, detail um, profile would actually look like. Now, due to uh, some limitations we have found with current curved links, we have found that the workflow that we are showing gets most consistent results. Although you might want to do your own profile with high levels of detail that could make it work for you, in this case, we're showing the something that we found to be much more consistent. So with that said, let's go ahead and see what the actual item would actually look like when we bring it in uh, to uh, Revit from, DW, from a DWG. And for that, we have already brought it in and have it hidden. So let's go ahead here and say reset temporary, hide options. And so you see, in this particular item, this is actually, if we select it here, we will see that this is an imported symbol. Okay, it's a DWG, we call it Mullion Top View. Okay, DWG, and it's got much more detail. Okay, now the reason why we actually brought this in is because if we look at this, let's go ahead and move over to the crop mullion here. If we look at this, we could say that we actually want to go ahead and create much more detail for our actual uh, detail view of this. Okay, so this is not enough detail for that. How can we actually go ahead and show it in that fashion. Well, what we did here in the actual Molium profile is we brought in the DWG and we gave it very specific visibility graphics op op options, which is that this particular style will only be seen in the fine detail, okay? So the actual item is in fine detail view and visible in fine detail. Go ahead and cancel here. Now, what about the other part? What about the more simpler uh, uh, profile? Even though it is a little complex, what about the simpler one, which is actually the one that is now in the highlighted items in blue? As you can tell, that one's visibility graphics is visible in coarse and medium, but not on fine. So this is how we're going to actually control what we see in our actual project. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And then we'll go ahead and bring it over to the crop view here. And let's go ahead and say we have a call out here that is already showing us the actual profile. This is actually this call out is actually the basis for these crop 3D view. Okay, so what happens here is in the actual view here, we have the option because we've set it up in the actual uh, profile family that we used for the special mullion, which is what this is. This is actually this one right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, obviously, to create that, we have to go ahead and create, uh, go right click, whatever, create new type. And in the new type, we go ahead into the properties 
okay? And in the properties here, we assign the specific mullion profile that we're choosing, okay? Which in this case is going to be the vertical mullion profile, okay, number two for this case. That being the case then, this, as we had set it up in the actual profile, is controlled by the level of detail. In this case, we have it at the level of detail at, go, let's go ahead and switch this over to wireframe. Okay, we have the level of detail to be fine, as we can see right here. And if we switch it over to the coarse detail, then we see the much more simpler item, okay, which is the more simple particular profile that we use to create the actual extrusion for the, for the profile. The uh, other one, which is the more fine detailed one, is for the actual detailed views, as we can see. Now, what we do with that is, rather than creating humongous amount of geometry, which a high detailed uh, profile would create, apart from the fact that we, uh, that we stated er earlier, having some curved lengths of uh, um, limitations, Okay, they would actually create a lot of weight for the drawing. So this is a, a nice hybrid way to actually go ahead and be able to view your actual mullion in high detail and extrude it, as we can see here, in a low level of detail. We also see that we created a, a, a double glazing uh, panel for this particular one because as we see, once again, in the high level, this is actually a, a double glazing particular type of mullion object type. Okay, so now that we have seen this particular topic, let's jump back to our slides.